So Jason, you yourself on LinkedIn, you tell yourself you're a storyteller. And that's why I want to ask you this question in terms of uh, importance of storytelling for job seekers perspective when they are being interviewed, because we all know that they have to know their story. They're going to be asked a lot of interview questions. Tell me about a time, the star method. So in your opinion, what tips you can give them to be prepared for their story, how they can tell their story to the better way? Sure. Well, I think, I mean, there's two things that I think are important. I don't, I, I personally don't think it's, I wouldn't worry as much about over-engineering the story, right? Because people really want authenticity and it's okay if your story isn't crafted perfectly. I think the key is to understand two things. I always, I used to be a, an executive recruiter way back in the day. So I used to prep, prep candidates for yeah. interviews. And one of the things I would always tell them to do is like, I want, you know, I give them some prompts of things that they should think about, but then I would give them, a, I'd, I'd ask them to sit and think about what questions are they most worried about? Yeah. Like what could somebody ask you that you'd be most uncomfortable with? What kind of experience, what kind of thing? And then I would ask them to think about, okay, now I want you to think about Number one, I mean, thinking about how you would respond to it, right? So you can prepare for how you would respond. But, but I think I also thinking about where do you have stories in your career? Where can you point to situations where you can prove that, you know, you had this particular experience or something that's close to that particular experience? Yeah. So I think that I think that's always a lot of it. So much of this is preparation, spending yeah. time in advance, really thinking through what you might be asked, what you're worried about being asked. And then investing time in getting, identifying those those parts of your story that you can just have top of mind and be ready, yeah. right? you can refresh. Yeah. The other thing I think that's important is in telling your story is to is to really stay focused on and remember what is it that they are, what do they need to hear? Yeah. Why are they asking this question? Because I think that's where a lot of people's stories get off kilter is they provide a bunch of unnecessary context or detail that isn't important. Yeah. And so you want to make sure you're clear on, okay, why am I telling the story? I'm telling this story to make this point to make, you know, and so as you're thinking through it, like to make that point or what are the important pieces to set up the results that, you know, of this? Yeah. Story. You just yeah. asked, let's say you asked me, um, tell me about a time where, you were able to change someone's mind at work, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Well, the, the, the punchline is this person thought this. And then by the end of our, you know, by the end of doing these things, they came around to my point of view. So that's yeah. the punchline. That's yeah. what they need to hear from you. Yeah. So yeah. then you can back up into what are the parts of the story that they need to understand yeah. in order to understand how you went about. Yeah. They want to see how you got there. Yeah. And so you tell the key pieces. So that's all I would say is yeah. just be clear about why they're asking yeah. the question and tell them that story. When I'm helping my clients, I always tell them, don't forget the result because you're telling the situation, you're telling the test what they need to do, but sometimes you're forgetting the result. And always say at the end of the conversation, as you mentioned in the example, they changed their mind. So you came to that conclusion. Well, and I think one of the one of the really like, let's let's call it a uh, I don't know what you call these like light you know it's like a life hack for for this thing. But I think if you really want to do this well, when they ask you that question, you say, well, actually, let me tell you about the story. And you start with the punchline. Yeah. I had this, I had this VP who was blah, 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 blah. And I was able to change their mind. Like initially they thought this and they were able to come around to this. Yeah. So you've already said, you've just said to them, I can do this. I have done this. Yes. And then everything after that is just supporting that supporting. It's how to, but lead. I, I, I think that one of the most powerful ways is to lead with lead with the result, lead yeah. with the punchline. Cause that way you don't, you don't get lost in the weeds. They don't yeah. start, you know, sometimes people, you tell too long a story, they stop listening. Yeah. Forget. <laughs> yeah. Those are great tips, Jason. Thank you very much. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of interview preparation, please leave them below and tune in next time for other great question with Jason.